Greetings, YouTube. Uh, New Hampshire has an educational uh, commissioner named Frank Edelblut. Edel and uh, Frank likes to think of himself as a man of the people, someone that keeps in tongue contact with the voters and listens to their concerns. It just so happens that all the concerns he really listens to, just by complete and absolute coincidence, all uh, um, align themselves with strong social conservatism. Like, wants to make sure that essentially LGBT folks don't exist. Make sure that uh, books get banned simply because, like, a parent in some backwards part of the state, I know that's an oxymoron in New Hampshire, has said they don't like that book in their schools. He will do anything under the sun, well beyond the scope of his office, I should point out, by calling up schools and, you know, suggesting they take a book out. And when the educational commissioner of the state calls up and say, hey, you know, maybe you should not have that book on yourselves, even though that might fall outside the scope of his office, that is a really significant threat. And there are teachers who are feeling threatened by this dude because of his attitudes and his strong arm tactics so that he can appease the socially conservative voters, which I'm sure just coincidentally align with his worldview of social conservatism. Because if Frank is into social conservatism, I'm Superman. Um, so I don't like when elected officials work outside their scope. I like it even less when they use strong arm tactics to impose socially conservative mores and codes upon people who aren't social conservatives. If you're a social conservative, you don't need any outside help. You just be, do your social conservative thing, but keep it to yourself. It's because you don't think a, your child should read a book doesn't mean that anyone else's child shouldn't read that book. You can decide what your kid reads. You shouldn't have the power to decide for anyone else what their kid reads. And that's what these social conservatives want. They want to dictate for you everything and aspect of your life. They want to have complete and absolute control of all data going into your brain and all the control that they can possibly muster over your body. Social conservatism is a communicable disease and we need to eliminate it. Um, but I'm sure that Frank will keep his office. I'm sure that Frank will just continue doing what he's doing now. Uh, maybe someday he'll get, we'll, we'll finally get rid of him, uh, but I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. In the meantime, he's creating an atmosphere of discrimination and prejudice against the LGBTQ community. What a shock. A social conservative is pushing an agenda of bigotry all under the guise of we're doing the best we can for the children.